Guys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. Thank you. I was going to look for um look for a mudbray because I wanted to add to my team and I know that finding a stamina mudbray is pretty difficult. But just started battling this trainer. So okay. So let's go just kill this thing. It's a cutie fly. You have metal claw. Murder it. Absolutely obliterate its life. It's dead now. Okay, that was... That was pointless. That was a semi-pointless fight. Thanks, dude. Thanks for that. Come on. Yes. Please be the one that I want. Please. Please be stamina. Yes! Yes! That's gonna hurt. Oh, mud sport. Or mud slap. Even worse. <laughs> stun spore! Come on! I'm never landing stun spore. Not with two accuracy drops and a what? Uh, 75 accuracy move. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Unless I get a super crit. Okay. Stamina, yes. Yes. Only took me 10 minutes of searching. <laughs> Pokeball. Because I can. Yes. 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 Sweet. Yeah, I'll care for you. Mudbray's data was added to the Pokedex. Mudbray! Again, I know everyone uses this, but it's awesome! The mud stuck on Mudbray's hooves enhances its grip and its powerful running gait. Would you like to give Mudbray a nickname? Yes! Mystery! We snaw. We snaw, my friend. We snaw. Oh, you just need mud wiped off of you. That I can do. And with that, and our new addition to the team being Mystery the Mud Bray, I will see you guys in the actual episode. Hey guys, Pony here in another episode of Pokemon Sun Let's Play. And as you saw in that little beginning part, I was searching forever for a Stamina Mudbray, and I found one, and luckily it was a female, so I had a perfect name for it. I named it Mystery after the seahorse from Spongebob, um, and given its moveset, it has Bulldoze, so since Hal has a, has a Pikachu, this could be really good. Let's try this thing. And it's like semi on par. With his team. Because I knew this battle was coming up, so... I kind of expected this. Hey, Brennan, glad I ran into you. So, we can see who's stronger now. Oh, so we can see who's stronger now. My grams must have thought I did enough to... In my grand trial, because he gave me a Z-Ring, too. 
Having a battle in a place like Peniola Town feels like we're in a real old-fashioned western showdown or something, right? This is so cool! Though, if we're real honorable cowboys, we've got to make sure our teams are healthy first. Thank you. Alright, Pikachu and team, let's show this newbie what Alola's got. Excuse you, I am no noob. You and your Z-Ring. Where did you even get that? I had to get mine from Tapu Coco. Where did you get it? I know Hala gave it to you, but where did he get it? Okay, I have a four level disadvantage, but super effective. And high defense. Really high defense. Nice. I am not leaving this thing in on your, uh, I would think it's a Dartrix now. Since your Pikachu's level 16. So, I would imagine your starter's like 17. Almost 13. So close. Rock throw. Ooh, let's get rid of sand attack. Um, Dartrix. Slicicle. Yeah. Please don't do anything stupid that can, like, like, astonish could mess me up because it could lower my, um, it could make me flinch, but, uh, don't do anything that can lower my accuracy. I don't think you can get anything, and you're gonna die in this next hit, so please don't astonish me. Thank God. Okay, so, please don't miss. Good. That was easy. I'm not even too overleveled, only by like a few levels. Um, I don't want to care for them every single time, so I don't need to. I imagine it's like mud or dust because we're in Peniola Town. Man, that was some kind of battle. Our Pokemon all look like they've had a blast too. Right then, here, I'll share some good luck with you, Brendan. Dire hit. It's kinda not so much good luck, but it increases the chance of stuff happening. You know how the totem Pokemon are like surrounded by some aura of power? If you use a dire hit on your Pokemon and manage to land a critical hit, that aura won't mean a thing. You know, Pokemon battles are just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But if you're really a loser, if you don't have any fun with your, while well, you're at it, right? Anyway, I'm heading off to Peniola Ranch. Actually, he says the aura won't mean a thing, that's only if it's defensive. Ah, now this is a mighty fine place. I reckon I could get... I could like it here. Peniola Ranch lies up this way. It's pretty far through Brooklet Hill. Apparently folks have been riding on Tauros in the Alola region since a long... Since way long back. I guess you can understand how ride Pokemon became such a part of everyday life here. Okay. The folks at Peniola Ranch made all these big ramps in the fields around the ranch to help their Pokemon build up strong hips and legs. You know how sometimes you share you seem to be alone, but you feel like someone's watching you? Do you think the Guardian's watching? No. Maybe. Sure. Ah, my mud bray. I have almost a full team. And only a few episodes I had still just a lit. Peniola is a small town, right? We get by because we share our work with our Pokemon, and they deign to help us with it. So, can I get anything special here? Just the Pokemart. Timer balls, that's pretty good. And net balls, that's decent. No quick balls, though. So nothing I'm totally interested in. Pretty good, but nothing I'm totally interested in. Um, 
Who are you waving to? Everyone works on the who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. So I guess you're waving to someone who's battling right now. Oh, you got to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. Cool. Like I've said before, the story gets really good and really interesting after this, but like it's really invested in the trials on this island, so it's fun. And then it like really gets into the story when you start to go to the third island. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Mmm, that taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Yeah, I got a dog! See, Stoutlin can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutlin, pressing the B button on Stoutlin search is what it's all about. Get it up, get up there and try it out. And try it. There are all kinds of stuff lying around waiting for you to find it. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there. So say hi to her for me if you see her. And we'll get another ride Pokemon over there. Route 5 is pretty famous among trainers as being a great place to train your team up. Oh, I wonder why. Hey, dude. I have a friend. So, this... Do I want to register? Yeah. Register you to right. Because I plan to register the Charizard to up. And I guess something else to left. Maybe Lapras. I have a drum beak. Wake me up every morning at a set time. Or that's what I let it think. Truth is that my neighbor's alarm clock wakes me up every morning. You were lying to your Pokemon. That is not right. Those Poke Beans that you get from the cafes and Pokemon centers are obviously a Poke Pelo, though. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. Oh, I got rid of the cool music. Actually. Cool items. Oh, it's over there. Super Repel. Cool. Oh. Wild Battle. Fun. I probably shouldn't be skipping trainers. Because I need to train Mystery here. And Rocky. But it's fine. Uh oh. Going with my attack. This is not good. I need to make sure that once Mystery or once Rocky gets to level 25, that's during the day because it can only evolve during the day. At least in this game, um, it evolves at night in Moon to the midnight form and day in Sun to the midday form. Obvious, but that's how it works. I didn't expect it to be not only game exclusive but also day and night. Seems like quite the limitation. Your speed fell. Die. Oh, great. Now this is probably going to be even less than a three hit KO. If you baby doll eyes me again, oh my god, no, please don't. Good. You have no friends. Am I stupid or should there be an apostrophe after the T in it? In its. Because isn't that possessive? Is it? Isn't that possessive? Aw, oh, we gotta brush you off. I love how Mudbray looks in um, Pokemon Refresh because it shows its teeth. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah. 
buddy. That's my buddy. Um, go around. Sorry about that. Okay, Pokemon Breeder Glenn. You have a Mudbray of your own. Interesting. You see... That ground type weakness. I have it semi covered. Ice ball. <laughs> it's just ice ball though. defense is way too high for that to not kill. Or, your defense is way too high for that to kill. Um, my only option. <laughs> Man, this water trial is going to be fun. How much does Absorb even do to you? It is just Absorb. Well, those, that does nothing though. Yeah. I'm good. Silverwind is stab. And pretty strong. Yep, it kills. Good. That's really good. Level 14. You were annoying. Um, so, where's this item? Got it. Soda pop. Nice. I can just ride around on Stoutland. I like heavy jumps. I like that. I believe I have to go this way. Ah! Was that a Zygarde cube? Or is that just an item? When do you get double kick? Is it 15? Oops, I meant to bulldoze. Well, I'm not dealing with you, because you're trying to lower my attack. And you're going to take 7,000 turns to kill because of that. I'm not dealing with a low level battle. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I want to go back there. Do I have any repels? Super repel. Use that immediately. And I choose to have the slowest thing in my party out. I'm smart. So a mud bray attacks. Donkey fight. No, that's demeaning. Wow, I wish I had this level 15 mud bray. Except no. That would be stupid. Manny, you're fast. Ish. I'm surprised repels still work like that. I thought that mechanic was gone a couple generations ago where things that were faster than you could still attack you. Apparently not. I'm a Pokemon nursery lady. I help take care of Pokemon trainers like you. Lately, for some reason, I see some Pokemon holding eggs. It's mysterious, isn't it? If you want us to take care of Pokemon, please speak to my sister inside the building. Gladly. 
I heard that other regions have these Pokemon daycare places. Apparently you can leave Pokemon there and they'll raise it for you. We've got nurseries here in Alola. Well, all we do is hold on to your Pokemon for you. We don't help them get stronger or learn any moves, but I guess we're easier on your wallet. Oh, and there's something else. If you leave two Pokemon together at the nursery, you sometimes find them holding an egg. Since we're talking about it, do you want one of the eggs I found here at the nursery recently? Yeah, sure. And since I have a free spot in my party, why not? Don't go cracking it. Hope you're happy surrounded by Pokemon. I won't crack it, hopefully. Oh, you can heal my team! Thank you, Miltank. And apparently, this is a good spot to, like, appease the whole, um, not being able to go in an infinite loop anymore. Oh, great. I had no reason to be doing that, and I just wasted my repel. What trainer was I fighting? Oh, you. Hello. <laughs> I can't even go down here yet, because I need... There's Suda Widow blocking the way. I need, like, the Water EMC, I'm pretty sure. Um... Lillipup. Ugh. I feel like Lillipup is Mudbray's worst enemy, because it tries to... Oh, I have Manny out front. Sorry about this. Except not really. Because Lillipup always try to lower my Mudbray's attack stat. Which is like its only good thing besides its defense. Great. Actually, let's go Rocky. I don't think Rocky's even hit the field yet. Maybe once. Well, he has while I was running out of the cave, I know that. Of course. Why wouldn't you burn me? Can you not? Um, confusion. Revive, paralyze, heal, antidote. Of course. And this is going to... Doesn't that just cut my attack? So won't it be, like, normal damage rather than, um... Super effective. That would hurt you so much if you didn't burn me. If you weren't lucky. That's one lucky freaking Growlithe. I could put the Normalium Z on you and double what Howl does. That would be fun. I could totally do that. I might just do that. As I just lob rocks at you in order to kill you. <laughs> Where this would take maybe two, three hits. It's taking about five. Fun. Level 16, only nine more levels. Level 21. Sweet scent. Not bad, but kind of useless in this generation. Although, no, your moves are pretty useful. Even Absorb. Because it's useful for whittling things down, because it's only base 20. And it could help me in the Water Trial, even though it is only base 20. Do you see me all the way from over there? You, right here. You see me from all the way over there. I find that really hard to believe. I'm one of the trial gods here to help out young trial goers on the island challenge. My particular duty is to test just how strong trial goers have become. Let's see if you can beat all the trainers here on Route 5 for starters. Oakley dokley. Um. Let's try this. Yeah. Let's try that. I 
And what can I get out of this? Um, Igglybuff and Happini. Oh, a fairy. So I should have kept Slice Coin. Slice Coin would be really good in this situation. <laughs> let's actually, let's, um, Draining Kiss. The Happini and switch Mudbray out for Slicicle. Yeah. Because then Slicicle can use a fighting move on Happini and a steel move on Igglybuff. It just draining kiss me. Okay. That's resisted. Slice so Skull's taking all these resisted hits. Uh, Barry, you can drain and kiss this Happini. Do I do it? I think I do it. It's normal fairy, so I think I do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Sorry, little girl, but you're going to get destroyed now. Have fun. All those fists. Destroyed. It could also one-shot the Happini because of it being a fighting type move on a normal type. Oh great. Was that Sweet Kiss? That is a weird animation. That is a weird animation. Breakthrough. Silver Wind. That kills. If it didn't, I was going to be surprised. But even if it didn't, I had Brick Break, break incoming. Level 20. Fury Swipes. I should put that Normalium Z back on you. Then again, it goes on base power, so it's a base 18 move. Double kick, yeah! Uh, Rototiller is actually bad for me because it helps grass types. It raises their attack and special attack, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, hello. This looks important. Well, how long have I been even going for? <laughs> but, I mean, either, yeah, I'm saving this one for next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all later with this. Bye, guys.